Explosive Summer Preview, 18 Huge Coronation Street Spoilers Still to Come. Coronation Street continues to fire on all cylinders as a whole host of massive storylines kick off in a big way, and Summer promises to be unmissable. With some exciting returns in the pipeline, a simmering revenge storyline, an issue-based ordeal for Sean Tully and more disaster for the Platt clan, there is plenty to enjoy. Here, we summarize the main plot lines ahead as Sally Metcalf faces one of her biggest challenges to date, Kevin and Jack Webbs to look to a very uncertain future and the McDonald, Barlow wedding could be turned upside down as Jim is heading out of the big house. Grab a cuppa and feast your eyes on this tasty lot. Josh faces justice. In the wake of Josh escaping justice following his arrest. He might think that he has gotten away with it but David is going to keep a close eye on him, especially when it seems like he has targeted a new victim, and while the show may not see Josh jailed, it seems that there will be a comeuppance of sorts. Producer Kate Totes told Metro.co.uk, I am not afraid of controversy. It's more important to reflect the truth. If you tie things up with a bow, there's a danger people take away from that. It's all right then, we don't need to talk about this anymore. It's done. Eva's exit. Eva's battle with Johnny over the custody of baby Susie is only set to get nastier and the big question on the lips of everyone remains whether she will start her new life away from Weatherfield with or without her daughter in her care. Recent filming pictures have confirmed that Eva's final scenes will air during Aiden's inquest but can she build bridges with the Connors or will she leave under a dark cloud? The con is on. Sally is about to get herself into a right pickle as sneaky Duncan proves about as trustworthy as we all expected him to be. When he persuades a naive Sally to grant him the charity money, £40,000 soon goes missing and Duncan disappears too. Sally is left with a lot of questions to answer, can she clear her name? She will then seek the help of an old legal friend who turns up to offer advice, but soon she is more interested in Sophie than she is in Sally's case. Joy Fakana? Bavna Limbarka recently teased to Metro.co.uk that a wedding could be on the horizon after Rana and Kate deal with their troubles. Our insider side, fans will be rooting for them but can they make it? With Zedon gone and the pair having come through so much, can they beat the odds that were previously stacked against them? Jim is back. He's getting out of the big house and he is going to have a score to settle after how things ended with Steve, so what mayhem will Jim cause when he arrives back in Weatherfield? Kate told us, we have some amazing stuff with Jim McDonald. He's going to be coming back with a lot of resentment because of what Steve did, from his point of view. He has been rotting in prison and no one cares. We also played a story 18 months ago where it seemed like Steve might have inherited a genetic disease from his dad but no one went to see Jim to ask if he was okay. We have a great story to play with that. More agony for the Connors. As the aftermath of Aiden's death continues to weigh heavily on the Connors, the shock of Alia being handed under world leads to a fierce fight, and Alia isn't about to give up the factory without a fight. But Carla soon deploys some more underhand tactics. Meanwhile, Johnny continues to really struggle, but will Jenny discover that he cheated on her with Liz? Lewis causes big trouble. Lewis will arrive back again following the reveal that he was in cahoots with Rosemary. And when he reaches out to Audrey again, it's clear that she might be falling for him once more. Don't do it, Aud. Kate smiled, we have Lewis, King of Cads. He is returning, I would have him for as long as Nigel Havers would want to stay as he works brilliantly with Sue Nichols and I love that existing dynamic that he played both mother and daughter. It's perfect and I love everything that they have done with Sophie Thompson as none of them have overplayed it. Carla and Peter, back on? Carla and Peter have a hell of a lot of history and Peter is hopeful that somewhere along the line, a reunion could become a reality. Exploiting this, Carla uses her feminine wiles to get Peter's help against Alia and Eva, but could she rediscover her feelings in the process? The former couple have plenty of screen time ahead and when the money Peter gets from the sale of the Rovers leads to him buying Alia out of Underworld, 
Mighty and Carla be set to mix business and pleasure. The new rovers. While Henry Newton rocks up to tell Gemma Winter that he has bought the rovers for her, it transpires that the sale of the famous boozer will actually go to the Connors as Jenny and Johnny take over. Hostage horror for Bethany. Bethany thinks that the only thing she has to worry about from newcomer Kayla is a bit of jealousy but there is something much darker afoot as it has emerged that she is actually the daughter of jailed rapist Neil. Nick comes home. After losing his relationship with Leanne following his jealousy around Steve and Peter, Nick departed the street after almost drowning in quicksand, so what is set to bring him back later this year and might there be a reunion with Carla on the horizon? Sean's homelessness ordeal. As Sean hits on hard financial times, things will get worse and he ends up homeless, living in a tent with someone else who is on the streets. But things take a devastating turn when Sean is then brutally attacked by homophobic thugs in a public toilet. As Shona discovers Sean's plight, can he be helped out of his situation?